Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part. So in this particular video, we have one of the interview question which was recently asked in interview. The question is like to find out the customer who have placed order on a consecutive days. So you can see I ha they have given me data like this. This is the data. This is the data frame. If I'll show you the data frame. Here we have a two column. One is customer ID and second is the order date. So let's understand the question. So this is the table which is given and this is the output actually we want the customer ID 1 and 3. So what actually we have to find out? We have to find out the customer who has order on a consecutive days. So you can see customer ID 1 he order on the 1st of October and the same customer he has order on the 2nd of October also means if I am ordering on the consecutive days means day by day like first I have order on the 1st of October then I am ordering on the 2nd of October means uh, consecutive days I am actually I am ordering so I have to find out all the customer who is ordering on the consecutive days so you can see one he has order on the consecutive days so output is a customer ID 1 now for 2 you can see he order on the 3rd of October but he didn't order on the 4th of October he order on the 5th of October means this is not a con consecutive days now the 3rd you can see the third customer he has ordered on the 1st of October then he ordered on the 2nd means he is also ordering on the consecutive days right so 3 is the output so our output is 1 and 3 because they have ordered on the consecutive days so we have to solve using a PySpark and the Spark SQL let's try to solve it so if I will show you the data frame first df dot so let me show you the data frame so this is the data frame we have now let's try to solve so my approach is like here I will find out the what is the previous day with the help of the lag actually I will try to find out the previous order date suppose here what is the previous order date it is a null right what is the previous order day of uh, this customer this is the previous order day now I am I'm trying to find out what is the previous order I am trying to find out what is the previous order so after that what actually I will do if the difference is coming the order date and the previous order date as a 1 if the difference is coming 1 then I will consider they have order on the consecutive days so here if you will see what is the previous order date second right now if you will try to find out the difference here it is not a consecutive days but here it is a consecutive days so, so like that actually I will try to solve it so let's write a query for that so we have to create a previous order date so what actually I will do first I will try to import few library from PySpark dot sql dot function function I will import all and the second I will write from PySpark dot sql dot window we will import a window now what I will write I will create one variable window spec and I will write this particular library we will use window dot we will try to partition based on the customer ID partition by customer ID I will write and after that what I will write order byte order date order order date variable we have created now we will uh, create a new column a previous order date and there we will use this particular uh, variable so how actually I can use this I will create a new data frame df lag I will create a new column with column and uh, I will use uh, a new column name as a previous order date something and comma we will use a lag function lag generally we use to find out the previous date right so I will use a lag order date order date dot over and, and this particular uh, on this one window spec window spec now if I show you df lag lag dot so you will be able to see with the help of this we are creating a new column previous order date so what we have done we have used the lag function what actually lag does it try to give you the previous uh, date so what is the previous date of this order date actually we are trying to find out with the help of this lag function so you can see customer id 
for the first customer first of october he has order what is the previous order date previous order date is nothing so it is null now for this customer what is the previous order date you can see first of october right so i am getting the previous order date for this customer what is the previous order date second of october so i am getting that so like that actually i am getting the what is their previous order now what actually i will do if i will compare this and if the difference is coming one means it is a consecutive days means they are ordering means he is ordering on the consecutive days if the difference is coming more than one means it they are not ordering on the consecutive days so that's how we have to solve so this one I have we have created right da flag dot so now what actually i will try to do i will try to find out the uh, difference here so how actually we can find out the difference i'll consecutive uh, days something i will use so i will use a uh, same da flag dot with column we'll create a new column and we'll try to find out a date difference days difference how to find out date difference this particular uh, function we will use date diff and we'll try to find out the difference between the order date and the previous order date and what is the previous order date order date now if i'll show you this uh, this one we have created right new data frame consecutive days uh if i try to do a display so you can see we have created one more column day difference and second of october and first of october difference is one fourth of october and two, second of october difference is two now what actually we'll do we'll try to just filter it if the if the day difference is one means that are consecutive days so how actually i can write now we'll try to filter if the day difference is one so how actually i can write i'll use a final data frame something and what i will write consecutive days dot filter call and this particular column should be one called day dos is difference equal equal one display and the final df display final df now if i show you so now you can see whatever the day difference is coming one and that actually we have filter out but what is the output we are expecting our output should be this one only only the unique customer id right so how actually i can find out so what i will write here final df dot select select uh, customer id id dot distinct dot so dot so now if i'll show you you can see this is the output we are getting one and three so what actually we have done first we have we tried to find out with the help of this lag function we tried to find out what is their previous order date so you can see we have order date is given we have tried to find out what is their previous order date now we have to find out the consecutive order right means the order date and the previous order date day difference should be one so what actually we have done we have created one more column days difference so what actually we are doing in a day difference we are trying to find out the difference between the order date and the previous order date so now what actually we are saying if the day difference is one means he has order on the consecutive days if the day difference is greater than one means they haven't order on the consecutive days so what actually we are doing for that for that we are applying a filter condition day difference should be one because we wanted the unique customer so we are also applying a distinct so this is a very much interesting question here we have used so many uh, thing so try to do practice you will get a better idea uh, like how to write a code in a pyspark so try to do a practice